Here we have our beam and we're going to calculate the reaction forces for the simple beam with one point load. First move is to actually to draw a free body diagram. So here we're going to replace our supports with the associated forces. Fixed support on the left hand side gets replaced by two forces. More support on the right hand side gets replaced by one force. Draw the 15 kilonewtons in where it is and labeling will call the two forces on the left hand side we'll call it VA and HA for vertical and horizontal call the 15 kilonewtons call that point B therefore the support at the right hand side we'll call that point C so therefore we'll label it VC that's our free body diagram drawn to calculate our reaction forces we apply our three basic equations for equilibrium namely when you add up all the forces in the x direction they must add up to give you zero when you add up all the forces in the y direction they must add up to give you zero and when you take moments about any point they must add up to give you zero as well sign convention for the forces so forces going up are positive, forces going down are negative, forces going to the left are negative, and forces going to the right are positive. For moments, we have clockwise moments are positive, anti-clockwise moments are negative. Taking the first of our equilibrium equations, all the forces horizontally must add up to give you zero. Looking at our free body diagram, we only have one horizontal force, HA. It's pointing to the right, therefore it's positive. For equilibrium, those all the horizontal forces must add up to give you zero. There is only one horizontal force, therefore HA must be zero. That's your first reaction force worked out. Now looking at the forces in the vertical direction, we have three forces, two pointing up and one pointing down. So what we have is, starting from the left hand side, we have VA pointing upwards. We have the 15 kilonewtons pointing downwards. And then on the right hand side, we also have VC, it's pointing upwards, therefore it's positive. Our three forces for equilibrium must add up to give you zero and we can rearrange this equation taking the minus 15 over the equal sign to the right hand side making it positive so therefore our equation becomes VA plus VC equals 15 so if we can work out one of the reaction forces we can easily work out the other one Taking the last equation for equilibrium, moments about a point. Remember, a moment is a force by a distance. Whenever we're taking moments, we must specify which point we're taking moments about. So we usually take it about the first support we come to. I had labeled that point A. So the shorthand notation is A with a little bent arrow over the top to denote I'm taking moments about point A. And going back to our free body diagram, HA and VA are applied at point A, therefore their offset distance is zero, so don't produce a moment. What does produce a moment is the 15 kilonewtons and the force VC. 15 is the force. The distance from point A across to the 15 kilonewtons is two and a half meters. The other rate force we have is VC and the distance all the way across from point A all the way over to VC. That distance is 5.5 meters. So the force times 5.5. 
These are the only two forces that produce moment for equilibrium. They must add up to give you zero. Remember, moments are either clockwise, positive, or anti-clockwise, negative. So we need to consider these two moments and their direction. So going back up to our diagram, what we do is we consider each force in turn as though it were on a piece of string and holding it at the point that we are considering, i.e. point A. So each force is on a bit of string and allowed to freely rotate, holding it at point A. How does the 15 kilonewtons want to rotate around point A and it want to rotate around in a clockwise direction, therefore as a positive moment. Considering the other force, VC, again, it's on a piece of string, consider it's on a piece of string, you're holding the piece of string at point A, how does the VC force want to rotate around point A? And it would want to rotate around in an anti-clockwise direction, therefore it's negative. Updating the signs into our equation, then we can work it out. 15 times 2.5 gives you 37.5 minus 5.5 VC equals zero. 37.5 is equal to 5.5 VC. Then divide through 37.5 divided by 5.5 gives you VC. And that is 6.81 kilonewtons. That's one of your reaction forces worked out. And at the top of the page, you can see the equation that we've just previously worked out. And it was VA plus VC is equal to 15 kilonewtons. So substituting in our value and then rearranging our equation, your VA is going to be 15 minus 6.81. And your VA will then work out to be 8.19 kilonewtons. So your reactions in this case are HA zero, your VA is 8.19 kilonewtons, and your VC is 6.81.